Hey guys, real quick, I want to give a shout out to my sponsor, Advanced GG. They create a product called Focus. I make content every single day, all day. Without it, I wouldn't be able to maintain my focus. It basically gives me the energy and the fuel that I need. If you want more information, if you're interested, head on over to their website at advanced.gg and check them out. They have a shop. You can go through the flavors, see if you like anything. The ones that I recommend are cherry limeade and the most recent one being the fruit punch flavor. Go to check out, use my code frost for a discount and then you're set. Let's get into the video. Zone A lost. Zone C captured. You have a cross. Two for one. Triple down. Sound. Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Frostbolt and I welcome you to today's video. I am really excited about this one because we are using a build that focuses on one of my all time favorite exotic hand cannons, the Ace of Spades. If you are a long time subscriber, you may know that Frostbolt used to main Ace 24 seven. This was my baby, all right? Back when Forsaken came out, Ace was king of PvP, at least in my opinion. Fast forward to today, Ace has gone through many changes. A lot of nerfs have gone down. One of the biggest reasons basically is that 140 RPM hand cannons got their range cut, and there's really no reason to use them over 150s who have a faster TTK and similar range. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and go over the perks. Forest crit rifling, high caliber rounds, firefly, which causes explosions whenever you get a crit kill, and then you get fast reload, smooth grip, and memento mori. Reloading after a kill, loads magazine with a few extra damage bullets, grants radar while aiming down sights. This exotic perk is amazing. It makes using ace a lot more forgiving as you don't have to hit three, crits it doesn't change the ttk but it's still really helpful this would allow me to be a primary main inside of pvp while other people would be using special weapons and you know it still kind of allows me to do that anyways how am i going to take ace to the next level well i'm going to go over the mods that i am using of charge of light it essentially will make ace feel like it is a pre-nerf and that's kind of an exaggeration because no matter what I do, I can't unnerf Ace. But with these combinations that I got going on, oh man, I had a smile on my face using this weapon again. All right. So the main mod that you have to look for is Charge Harvester. While you are not charged with light, any kill or assist has a small chance to give you Charge of Light. So after like four or three kills slash assist, you'll become charge of light. And it's like a nice little surprise when you're, you know, popping off in gunfights and then you can two tap somebody with Memento Mori. We're using enhanced hand cannon targeting for target acquisition and aim down sight speed. All right, so that's one of the charge of light mods. We're gonna have to turn that into damage. So we're using high energy fire. Essentially, this means that with Memento Mori and a charge of light, I can two tap players, all right? So very satisfying. To make it more consistent, we're using Taken Charge. We pick up orbs, boom, that's extra damage to our hand cannon. We wanna turn our one stack into two, so we use stacks on stacks because that's facts. Look at these numbers, now that's stats. Anyways, one very important thing to note is that the hand cannon mod does not work for whatever reason, it is bugged in Crucible. Very unfortunate, okay? Uh, another thing, so if you get the final blow with Ace, 
you are not going to get two stacks. You're only getting one. For whatever reason, it bugs with high energy fire and it like consumes one. But if you get an assist, then it gives you two. Okay, just something to know in case you're using this build and you're like, oh, why didn't I get two? It's like throwing you off, right? So another really, really important piece of this loadout is a Fidian aspect. Okay, weapons ready and reload very quickly. Melee range is extended. So why is this exotic important? Well, I know a lot of people have different builds. They want to recommend chromatic fire, bottom tree striker with frontal assault for more two tasks. But really for me, this exotic is what made the build just go to the next level. It felt like I was using a lightweight frame hand cannon. It was very speedy, high handling speed. And my God, it was just smooth to use. All right. So I definitely would recommend using the feeding aspect for this. Anyways, that's pretty much it when it comes to the perks and mods. I went with bottom tree Nova bomb. So devour so I can go on the streaks. Pretty enjoyable. We are using a slug shotgun with hit fire grip, opening shot, lightweight, arrowhead break. I really don't find any need for full bore here. It felt like the shock can still snipe no matter what. Other than that, the gameplay was really fun for me to get. So I hope you guys enjoy watching. Let's get into it. Charge your life for a two tap here. I almost died right there. I would tear out a vex heart Somehow I didn't. I would sear the cabal with my burning light, challenge the fallen kells to personal. Somehow I didn't. I I've been watching too many crucible matches. Zone C captured. Power play. Keep the pressure on. We have fire hey, I got another two tap. <laughs> we mercy them. Those two tasks, bro. Mm. Before we engage any battles, there's a radar ping nearby. I'm able to get my first kill with the Ace of Space to proc Devour and Mori as well. There are a couple mountaintops in this lobby. Radar ping in the middle. He seems to be an AFK player. Unfortunately, not getting that Ace of Spades 3-tap. Ooh, that was a crispy headshot, I'm not going to lie. Let's pop Devour and continue to challenge these players in their spawn area. We do have a Charger Light Ace of Spades. I got team shot. I got a little bit aggressive. I'm playing against us. There's a grenade being thrown. We do have Devour already proc. Hit the two tap. Challenge more in the spawn area. Oh, that was massive. Let's pop another Devour. I am very one shot. Try to get that tying off my teammate. So we got that the two tapper charge of light to proc mid pre. It's a, it a nice little surprise, right? Nice little surprise. Enemies taking B. We're gonna have to rotate after we take care of C here. Very scary auto rifle, especially if he starts to charge that up. This guy's one shot. 
Oh, he almost got away. I was able to hit him one more time. Ooh, we got a kill. Managed to get a trade. Actually, we might have a nice little situation going down here. Got the Mori proc. Keeping my distance. I am focusing a lot on the primary gunplay. Oh, that was a nice little jump shot. I'm not going to lie. I give you some credit for that one. You could have gotten me. His mistake was just not having fast enough reaction, to be honest. Tell them to line up faster. Try to slide away to avoid the grenade damage incoming. Huge pulse rifle shots. Here we have a couple players challenging me. Gonna get that slug shotgun ready. No need since we do have Ace of Space Mori once again. This hunter's kind of weak. Huge grenade throw. Get the cleanup with the Ace Mori. We're gonna keep chaining this. He's trying to hit a mount top. We have Charge of Light, so a two tap is incoming here. Ah. Wow. Was not expecting to live that. With that auto rifle proving to be kind of difficult. Since we already have... The pulse rifle shut down. Big shots, big shots. I'd rather be safe than sorry. As that guy was getting way too close. He could have followed up with a shotgun or something. Oh, big shots from the Lunas, man. Look at that double bomb! <laughs> Dude, the guy was looking at it, trying to fly away. <laughs> that was hilarious. From the right and the left. Very surprising. Providing some support to our teammate here. We got another two-tap right here. Surprised they didn't shoot my teammate there. It had to be me. Too bad. I missed my hit fire shot as well. But pretty fast match. Showcase the charge light shenanigans on the Ace of Spades. Fitting aspect, boosting up the handling speed of Ace and just overall feeling super crispy to use. I had a lot of fun using it. Uh, three kills short from the 50 bomb, but I'd say pretty dominant plays in regard to map control in the middle. Um, got shot down a couple times, so you know, pretty good shots from the opponents. GG's nonetheless. To boost up a lot of our handling speed on this weapon. Oh, that guy just hit himself with a grenade. Luckily, Devour is still active. We are able to hit some of these players with the Ace of Space and get our health back. I am trying to help you, teammate, but he's currently teleporting all over the screen here. Let's get a rift going down. The auto rifle damage is a little bit too much. Barely reacted in time for that guy. We got a player on the right side. Look at the Mori back in her mag. Keep chaining Memento Mori here. There are a couple players playing a little bit hidden here. Trying to dodge some of the auto rifle spray and coming down my way. There we go. A little bit delayed of a shot. But luckily the charge of light did help me win that gunfight a little bit more. That was a two tap. Huge shots. We got a radar ping on the right side. Underneath actually. Trying to find a different way to engage us. I'm going to pop the VAR here as we are getting close to the enemy once again. Looks like we got a 1v1 situation here. He's trying to find me. He can't see me. I'm right here, bro. I hit you with the fast moves. Provide some support to our teammate. The Hunter melee teleportation there. Ooh. Got hit with a huge body shot. Allowing Larry to clean me up with the auto rifle. Here we're gonna be moving towards C. Do have some players in this spawn. Hit him with a couple of ace shots. Would have shut him down. Connection's a little bit wonky, but 
Nothing too surprising from the Destiny experience. Oh, that guy looked like he was... Now this guy, what are you doing, bro? I think he was pretending to be AFK to hit somebody with a sniper or something. Mori back at her magazine. We're going to challenge this guy together. His own goal, or best goal here is to try to make a play with the shotgun and not letting him do none of that. That was a little bit delayed kill, but we did get the 108 damage headshot crit. Enemy teams getting triple caps. This is going to be a mercy. We're going to probably go for it here. We call this game a GG. Just finish it off already. That is a match, ladies and gentlemen. Enemy team slayed by the Ace of Spades throughout the whole match there. I think we took one death during that game against the uh, sniper, right? That was a sniper rifle that hit us. We ended the match with a 29.0. Curious to see what the match could have gone to if it wasn't for a Mercy, but a Mercy, so there for a reason. Our team was just a little bit too strong, so we'll leave it at that. GG. Control. Some altar of flame. I know you can fight. All right, let's see what kind of match we can get here on altar of flame. This is definitely one of my favorite maps to play on, especially when using a weapon like Ace of Spades. Got a lot of range to try to dominate the enemy team here. Gonna be fighting one player trying to aggro rush me. Huge body shot from this guy. Gonna force me to back away. I've gotten my health back. He is gonna pull out the auto rifle. Successfully managing to get a body shot kill from behind. Proking my Memento Mori using these corners on the wall to try to peak shot effectively against the auto rifle usage that charge of light giving me that extra damage boost I need of range to combat the long range opponents and I got sniped from the side I got a little bit too distracted with the player going on B Enemy team is going to be capturing the B zone. You want to get Memento Mori back. This seems like a good opportunity to pop Devour. So we're about to start engaging a lot of these players hopping out of the zone. And it looks like they are actually going to be sitting on B for a little bit. Player behind me. See, what I like to do with Ace of Spades Mori is just kind of engage more 1v1 situations here. Where I know... That I can't take an L from getting double team shot by auto rifles. It's a very strong tactic you kind of want to adopt with your... Oh no, I got body shot. He flew in, hit the body shot. I did hit a 108. But unfortunately, due to the lack of health, I got instantly cleaned up by somebody else. I got a little bit too distracted with the player on B. You know, sometimes you think they're going to challenge and they just, you know, never really show themselves. Kind of weak here. This player might rush. He would have proc Devour. Ooh, got body shot from the right side. So these sniper rifles, man, proven to be very difficult to play around right now. All it takes is one of them to hit me and I'm pretty much dead. As much as I would like to play aggressive, I feel like... I'm more than likely will get punished if I try to be on the open. Try to take a different approach here, a little bit more uh, face forward approach against these guys, which basically means I'm going to try to just risk engaging them face to face a lot of the times. I managed to get the trade. 
I got a little bit rushed there. The Titan hit his melee ability, cleaning me up. Although I think my push right there did delay enough to the point where my teammates were successfully able to capture the B zone. Enemy hitting a massive solar nade on me, man. Can't get my primary gunfight against him. We have some power ammo we can also play for right now. That is an auto rifle user. It's not on the three tap. Trying to rotate away from the SMG player there. Not able to secure the final blow to Proc or Memento Mori, but no worries here. We're going to get this machine gun ammo, Prop Devour. We should be able to get a little bit more aggressive and, you know, even continue to chain another Devourer. Nine hungers. <laughs> Very strong weapons. Could have used the cover there a little bit better. We're getting that kill. Enemy team not playing these zones too strong here, I'd say. As we are holding B pretty well, and now that I have Mori, I might just start pulling the lead for us quite a bit. I might lose my, my Memento Mori. I got body shot by the sniper rifle cleaned up. Striker so going in action. Trying to clean up some opponents on B. Create some distance. I might get challenged by another one here. Could have meleeed possibly. Somehow I was weak enough to get one shot body shot by his chaperone. Very unfortunate. I didn't get my full health there. That is what happens in 6v6 sometimes. You just take damage from different sources. You gotta be ready to deal with it, man. Zone B lost. Able to proc and mental more. Now we have Devour. This player is pretty weak. I am gonna rush him. Gonna try to get a good primary shot here. No more Devour. Let's go ahead and proc our next grenade. I was able to proc my health region once more. I don't have Memento Mori anymore due to the fact that I popped my Nova Bomb. It does cancel it, but we're good so far. That Charger Light is going to act like another Memento Mori, which is great. As we're able to clean that player up, here we have a Arc Strider. This guy's kind of one shot. I'm trying to disengage, but I set my eyes on you, man. It's over. Trying to rush this player. He is kind of weak. I'm trying to get my momentum more once more. Okay, I just instantly got deleted by an auto rifle. My reasoning behind what just happened. He probably got a sniper body shot on me and it was really delayed. So on my screen, it looked like I just got deleted by an auto rifle. Just some destiny stuff you can't really overthink. Ahead. Keep it that way. Well, some huge primary action here. Kind of waiting around the corner. I'm still able to chain these pretty well. I have a sniper rifle behind me. I have some charge of light now as well. I was able to create some orbs. That guy's kind of weak. He got the two tap. Might get another one here. I went for the triple tap there. And that's game, dude. Pretty good map control. Dominated enemy team. They weren't able to play B too well. Sniper rifles were kind of problematic during that match, but... 
you know once we slayed out a little bit we kept them in their spawn and they really never found the angles to challenge again it gave me problems anymore but ace of spades proven to be a beautiful weapon to use inside of pvp that was a lot of fun so gg